In this video, I'm going to walk through the steps to install this station manager or DSM on your Synology NAS. If you are following along in the Synology NAS installation and local area network setup series, installing Disk Station Manager is a first step to follow in the 7 video series. As mentioned in the overview video, you should be at the point where your Synology NAS is set up with drives installed, connected to your network, and powered up. The quick installation guide that came with your Synology NAS should get you where you want to be. There are two ways to initiate the installation of DSM on a Synology NAS. The first way is by connecting to the website findsynology.com. Here, I'm already connected to the website, and once connected, the system automatically starts searching for Synology devices on the local area network. Once your Synology device is found, click on the connect button to continue. You need to check the box that you agree to the terms of the end user license agreement and click next. You'll see the Synology privacy statement where you need to click the continue button. You'll then come up to the web assistant welcome screen where you can click on the setup button to start the installation process. Next, you'll come to the install disk station manager screen. Here you can click on the install now button. You'll be prompted to check the box that you understand that all data on the drives in your Synology NAS will be removed. Go ahead and check the box and click OK. This initiates the formatting of your hard drives and the download and installation of DSM. This process takes approximately 10 minutes to complete before the Synology NAS is restarted. You'll next be at this Create an Administrator account for the Synology NAS screen where you will need to enter in a server name, username, and password before clicking on the Next button. The screen that follows lets you set up Quick Connect, which is Synology's hassle-free way to connect to your NAS remotely without the need to set up port forwarding on your router. Because this series of videos focuses on a local area network setup, we'll click on the Skip This Step link. We'll then need to click on the Yes button to confirm that we will be skipping on setting up Quick Connect. At this point, we are pretty much all set, and on this screen, we can click on the Go button to continue on and log on to Disk Station Manager for the first time. We'll just need to click on a few welcome messages and tips before we are ready to start working in DSM. The second option to install DSM is by downloading and using the Synology Assistant from Synology's website. I've ran into situations where using findsynology.com didn't find a Synology device on my network, but the Synology Assistant did. So this is a great alternative if you run into the same issue as well. To begin, bring up your browser and go to this address, which will bring you to Synology's Download Center. I'll add the link in the description below. Once on the site, select NAS from the Select Product Type drop-down menu. Then, from the Select Your Synology Product drop-down menu, select your NAS, which in my case is the DS920+. At this point, click on the Desktop Utilities menu and download the Synology Assistant, which in my case is the DMG image for the Mac. Here, I've already extracted the DMG file, and I have the Synology Assistant mount on my desktop. I'll open it up and launch the Synology Assistant to automatically start scanning my local network. In my case, it found my Synology NAS and brought up the Synology End User License Agreement automatically. But in your case, you may need to select the Synology NAS device that has been detected and click Connect to continue. I'll select the checkbox agreeing to the End User License Agreement and click OK. At this point, we are in the same spot we were earlier when we went through the installation of DSM using FindSynology.com. If you'd like to run through the steps again, head back to that section of the video for a detailed walkthrough of the installation process. Here I'm just speeding up the video to the end of the installation. We're now all set up and logged into this station manager. We have our administrator account created and we're ready to configure our Synology NAS further. The next step is to create storage pools and volumes with Storage Manager which is the second video in the Synology NAS installation and LAN setup series. The video will be linked in the description below as with all other videos as they become available. 
Thanks for watching, and if you found this video useful, make sure to like it and consider subscribing to help support this channel.